Hello oh, again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery and it's about 95 degrees under the tent. But good thing I'm getting used to it. This is an OXO omelet turning spatula and a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And my glasses are on my head and now they're on my face. And I am going to hope that I can beat the clock because I know paint will dry fast in this heat and I want a nice layer but I don't want a tremendous amount and I do have tweezers and the OXO omelet turning spatula is excellent at showing you things in the paint. Yes. So I tried to pull out my colors in advance so I could do this somewhat quickly but I want to I want to change up what I've been doing. I'm still doing swipes. I'm hooked on this series. I want to I want to add some other colors in. I want to add fewer fewer areas of color and be able to swipe more and I I'm crossing my fingers and my toes there's another thing those are often from the flow trawl they have a uh, a screed or a sieve that you can screw on the top of your flow trawl bottle it's on my Amazon link it was shared with me by Heather Matter and it was shared with her by somebody else and so it goes. But if you want to help me survive and stay in YouTube and keep making videos, you could look at my Amazon link and see if there's anything that you might want. It's at no added cost to you if you shop there and it helps me out. Appreciate it. Just like I appreciate you guys watching the videos longer because it is the only thing that the YouTube algorithm responds to. Is when people watch the videos longer, it gives me better placement. I am going to be trying to move my time. I may have already done so so that my videos air at 11 a.m. I'm gonna, it might, it might wind up being 10 a.m., but I'm thinking 11. So I've got most of the paint off of this. I'm not gonna worry about my edges right now. I'm gonna throw that in the bucket, and I am going to, I wasn't gonna use a shovel, so what I will do is put some paint in this container, starting at the bottom, and continuing on. See if I can just tip that down a little bit. I think you can see right there. I'm not sure, but I think so. Cool. I thought that was going to plug up for a minute. So this is my favorite folk art color shifting purple. And this is a Modern Masters, I believe it's called. And it's a very shimmery, very shimmery. I think it said matte, so I don't know about what to tell you about that. So I kind of wish I'd done this sideways in the container so I could scoop up. But I am going to try and use, this was a lipstick with a moisturizer, and I cut off the edge and taped around the back. And that's what I'm going to be trying to put in here. And I'm going to put areas down. They're prob I'm going to start in the middle because it might be the only one that looks like this. And I'm just going to go as long as I can. Go back and grab some other color. Try and go to the same place. I actually wanted to raise and lower the heights of the applied scoops. This one's going to be quite different than the other two, I can tell right now. But the colors will be the same. I may have to stick something over the top of this. I might just go ahead and change my, change my pattern from what I had in my head to this. But whatever I'm going to do, I'm going to have to follow through pretty quickly. All right, so I'm just going to put this paint aside right now. And Doggy's going to go away. Yes, you are. Get out of my studio, dog. Go on. Go on. Thank you. Oh, Not... It's all right. Not under my feet anymore. So I love this color, which I said was the color shift from Folk Art. And I am going to go ahead and give myself permission, yes, I 
I may miss some of that uh, that gold. All right, so now I'm going to use the black enamel, and I'm going to use it above all of the gold spots. Hopefully you can see most of that. And I'm going to grab a little dish to scrape my swipe card off of, and I'm going to grab a small swipe card because I don't want to eradicate all those colors. And I'm just going to go all the way down because I need to know what's, what happens when you do that. I've got a little dried on paint on my swipe card so it's not as smooth a process as I'd like it to be and I'm thinking I might want to switch that to something without it. Well, I don't know, maybe it's not that bad. I will eventually be clever enough, I hope, to figure out how to do this in more ways. And I may go back in the other direction. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, yes. Okay, where was I? I was right here. Wishing that I hadn't, or wishing that I had put that color down a lot more evenly. But sometimes the unevenness makes it more organic looking, so I don't mind. Look, I've got almost no paint coming off into my dish. I wanted to see how far the gold would go. It's a 24 karat gold from Decor Americana. I think it's Americana. I know it's Decor. I'm going to have to look one of these days. I've wanted to move the colored sections far enough apart from each other so that I wind up keeping a lot of the colors. And I'm really tempted to grab some of this and just move it up. Because I can. The name of my first book on the Amazon link. Under Show More under the video, it's the first blue link. And if you shop there, you help me out. If you guys will watch the videos longer, you're going to help me out too. I really appreciate that, along with a thumbs up. Thank you for the great comments you leave me all the time. And uh, thank you so much for the contributions that have kept me painting all this time. So this is a little different, huh? And I've still got that black enamel, and it's not going to waste. And I got to keep a bunch of my purple. And uh, whatever else I might want to do, I can do in another piece. Or I could do it now. I kind of want to put some gold at the bottom and pull it back up just to see what will happen. So I'm going to do that. And I kind of like that. So I don't have to put it anywhere I don't want, but there's enough black paint. I love my dog, but he's over there hunting lizards, and I like lizards. <laughs> so it's sort of kind of a bummer when he does it, especially when I'm recording. So if I seem distracted, so I have. Looks like I didn't set my timer, so I'm going to let you guys go early. Thank you for the thumbs up. I really appreciate that. I'm going to put a little more black enamel where I want to put my gold because I'm seeing that I'm not getting as many cells as I'd like. And that ought to prove the point about the, about the black enamel. I'm just looking for subtle, subtle striations at the bottom without taking out too, many, too much of the color. What I like to do when I have a good, good clean edge is go in here and steal some of that paint and just add a little more textural element because the paint is nice and deep I can get all kinds of marks and lines they don't have to be uniform it's nice if they're somewhat straight 
but I definitely love the aspect of adding some more texture. It doesn't have to be perfect. But I definitely think it's cool. <laughs> it looks like a field of rocket launches, actually. So I'm just sticking the edge in and then changing up the height. I, I, it's like stamping, pretty much. I like this color shifting purple from Folk Art because it's very much like the, um, the purple that I like that's the neon from Folk Art that's a multi-surface, but it stays shinier when it dries. So I'm just going back and forth, grabbing any of that. And I could actually put some of that at the top too, if I wanted to. Or I could put a little more <laughs> right there. And I've got blue. Using fewer colors has sort of worked for me right now because uh, when there's a larger puddle of the color then it's easier to, to snag that. I don't really want to interrupt too much of that. Maybe if I use a much shorter card. And things are beginning to dry but I think I've got enough. colors so that I can, and they're deep enough so I can just keep stealing some color from here and there and everywhere. And it really makes a big impact. I don't know if you agree with me or not, but it's very impactful as far as I'm concerned. And that's just neat! <laughs> I like that. I'm going to put a few more of these lines over here and call it good. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery saying thank you for sharing my videos. Every little bit helps. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the contributions that have kept me painting all this time and keep me painting here because when you contribute $10 or more to the um, to PayPal or Patreon, I send you a receipt for that including this month's prizes, which you can actually see also on the exhibition video on the end screens of any video. And I'm going to put a little cover on that paint over there. And I might have to torch. So I used to give lessons at the house, and I will as soon as this virus thing is over with. I have Teespring clothing below the video, and if you're interested in all-over print leggings or t-shirts or other stuff like tapestries or towels or pillows, you might want to go check that out. Um, I have even more things if you visit the Facebook page, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and more. There's over 1,200 items that can be like 30 different items of clothing and household goods and wonderful stuff to peruse. Even if you're not shopping for now, it's fun to look, to look at. I want to do some of these that are like flowers and use some green in the bottom next time. So I love you guys. There's 86,000 subscribers here. And um, if you're not getting your subscription, you might want to check that it's turned on. They get turned off. You might want to also check your notifications because they get turned off also. On my channel, you will find videos under created playlists, uh, 1,310, and the first 12 lists have 100 each in them. They're numbered 1 through 100, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that was not articulate. Um, and the rest are by genre, which are abstracts or swipes or scapes or orbs. And um, check my Amazon link underneath the video. I mentioned that my book is there because I can is the book and then the second book is unlimited possibilities these are the Princeton art tool catalyst spatulas that's my number one go-to but there's like five of them there if you open the link and that's the OXO omelet turning spatula I'm trying to think what I'm forgetting and I'm not seeing very much written down on my crib sheet which means there's a whole lot somewhere else but you guys know I love you and um, I hope you keep coming back look for tomorrow's video on the community board on my channel and uh, Facebook group Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students and it's also a good place to find tomorrow's video if you're looking for it. I love you guys. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery being repetitious. I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. And out.
I will see you in on. Hey, binge watch some videos, would you? Thank you. Hang in there, everybody. We're all in the same boat.